Hi, I'm Ben Brown with WoodlandGuitar.com, and in this lesson, how to play Bad Days and Lonely Nights by Junior Kimbrough, especially for Joni. Mr. Kimbrough tuned his guitar down a half step to E flat tuning. Uh, I'm going to leave mine in standard, and you can too. Uh, you don't need to tune down unless you just want to play along with one of Mr. Kimbrough's recordings. First thing we're going to do is get a good drone going with our thumb on the A string. Mm -hmm. take our index finger, play the same rhythm on the D string. We're going to put our first finger on the fifth fret of the D string and our third finger on the seventh fret. So we're playing the same note. And you're just kind of pinching, you're just kind of pinching the string lightly between your thumb and index finger. Practice that until you can do it without thinking. The next thing we're going to add is we're going to alternate between our first finger and our third finger on the fourth fret. Now if you've already got this automatic, then all you've got to do is pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. Next thing we're going to do is a hammer-on. You're going to play the third string, sit with the first finger there, see how little we have to move. Your first and third finger have been doing that on the fourth string. Now we're just going to kind of lean it over so we're pushing down the third string in the fifth fret. And then we're going to hammer on with our third finger. Now you might take a second to practice that without the other elements. Just take your first finger, pluck the first note, first finger on the fifth fret, and then you slam your third finger, your ring finger, down. Pretty easy with an electric guitar since you've discovered electricity, Joni. So you're going to play hammer on, pick it up, play the first finger again, and then put your third finger back where it's been the whole time. And keep playing. So, first you've got with your thumb. index finger, then you alternate notes in the left hand, now slow it down once you've got that comfortable, keeping my thumb going on the low E, which he does. The first time you try to coordinate all this together, it's going to seem kind of complex. That's why you always want to practice one element at a time. Get the A string going until you're thoroughly bored with it, you can do it in your sleep. Then start playing the other A, fourth string, seventh fret with your third finger, index finger on the plucking. Then alternating notes. Then try to throw in the hammer on. Do it slow at first. you're alternating between the hammer-on, there's another hammer-on that happens on the fourth string. So you're only plucking when you, you're only plucking for when you have the first finger down in your left hand. But really you're just making the same hammer-on twice. try to coordinate everything together, take it slow at a dead walk, don't worry about tempo. Then 
done, set yourself a metronome or a drum machine at a very, very slow tempo. Gradually speed it up until you've got it to the tempo that you want. Don't forget to check below the video for the tab to this song, as well as links to other songs that you might like to learn. Below that, there's a big gray area. Joni, if I left anything out, please feel free to ask questions. I'm Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com, and this has been How to Play Bad Days and Lonely Nights by Junior Kimbrough. Thank you for watching.